Hi, my name is Daisy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a video on how to set quarterly goals couples edition. Now, um, Augustine and I have been doing quarterly goals for the last roughly almost two years now and it's worked really well for us. So I wanted to share the process that we go through so that maybe you can consider doing it for you and your spouse. Now, quarterly goals, um, there are four quarters in a year, so within 12 months, and they're split into three months of time frame. Um, and so basically what that means is we set goals in chunks of three months. And it works really well for us because uh, we believe or we feel like the three months gives us enough time to really work towards goals, but yet it's not too long that we end up forgetting. I'm sure a lot of us have been in that same boat where we end up uh, you know, setting goals come January 1st, and then after a month or two, we end up kind of, you know, falling off and forgetting our better goals. So quarterly goals makes it a little bit uh, more attainable, achievable, and visually you can see it, um, you know, closer versus the entire year. So let's jump into it. So the first step you want to do is you want to have a conversation and both partners should do talking and listening as well. So with our, you know, for our case or the way we do it is that we tend to do this over dinner. Sometimes we go out to eat at a restaurant and we kind of just talk, talk broadly, you know, talk bigger picture, what you guys want to see together as a couple, as individuals, whatever the goals, this can be any category. So finances within marriage, uh, your relationship with Christ, whatever the case may be, you want to talk, talk out loud with each other, listen to each other. And if one of you can and likes to write down notes during this time so that nobody forgets, right? Um, cause we, Augustine and I, we tend to talk a lot. So that's what we do is have a conversation. Now, once you're done talking, the second step is to be specific and get detailed. So if you did take notes, which I highly recommend, you kind of want to go through each goal and start to get really specific and write details down, right? So if you guys talked about maybe saving a certain amount of money for maybe a down payment of a house, you kind of want to start calculating what that looks like with your income now, right? Um, what that looks like within a year, you know, it doesn't have to be within three months yet. We're just starting to write down details, right? Realistic details. So if you're looking to buy a car or maybe go on a trip, you know, start to plan which date, um, when roughly timely wise you want to get, uh, accomplish those goals and just start to get more detailed. Okay. And this doesn't happen, have to happen over the dinner. This can happen later when you guys get home and maybe want to start, you know, talking details, which, um, you know, requires a little bit more thought into it. Now, the third step is to break down those goals. Now, this is where you kind of want to start, you know, calculating and timing wise, uh, figuring out what those goals look like in terms of quarters. So generally for us, we still look at the year in advance. So the next 12 months, but then we break the goals down into quarters, which makes it, you know, more achievable. An example can be like, let's say, you know, a year from now, you guys want to go on a trip, right? And you need, let's just say $5,000 for that trip. You need that money saved, um, from here, let's say maybe in, within the next three quarters so that you guys can book that flight a little advanced or, you know, booking flights, hotels, etc. So you then take that amount and you start breaking it up into quarters. So how much money do we need to save each three months for that to happen? Right? So this is where you just break it down. It's easier when it comes to finances, right? It's might even be easier when it comes to losing weight. You know, if you want to lose a certain amount of pounds, although, um, you know, we want to be realistic, you know, let's say you want to lose 10 pounds within the next 12 months, you then want to kind of calculate, okay, what does that look like within each quarter? Right? So you want to break it down into quarters. So the next step is accountability, right? You want to set up accountability systems. Um, together as a couple and maybe as individuals as, as well, you know, maybe you trying to get healthy and fit is a goal. Maybe your accountability is your friend or your sister, but definitely want to set up accountability uh, systems for your goals, right? 
I highly recommend writing these down, putting an accountability system. I think budgeting is obviously one when it comes to finances. Uh, but you want to write these goals down somewhere, write it down, track it on a calendar, however it works for you and for you and your partner as well if it's a combined goal. So accountability is key here. Now the fifth step is to set a quarterly review date. Now we like to stick with the actual quarters in terms of uh, business quarters. So January, February, March, you know, April, May, June, July, August, September, and then October, November, December. That's kind of the quarters that we work with, right? And so we schedule our quarters, our quarterly review date at the end of each quarter. It doesn't have to be exactly the last day. It can be that weekend after, a couple days after, you know, for us, depending, you know, on our schedules, we just try to do it, you know, as soon as we can, but not if it conflicts with work schedules. So definitely setting a date. And for me personally, I love setting dates, you know, something that I can see in a calendar. It just makes things more exciting. Now the last step, which is my favorite step is uh, review, reset and revise. So for this, is when you actually do your quarterly review meeting is kind of how I like to phrase it. And so this date basically that you set ahead of time, it's, this is the actual meeting that occurs, right? So from here, you wanna pick something fun, actually. We like to do dinner. I mean, we're huge, uh, we, we enjoy eating out, so we like to schedule dinners at our favorite restaurants and, or you know, just having a picnic at the park. Um, but definitely want to schedule something fun, um, kind of review and just talk about what you guys think did went well and didn't work so well, you know, what could be improved for the next quarter, you know, things that happened that maybe were out of our control that, you know, maybe set us back a little bit. Again, it's just more communication and more discussions at this time. And so after that, you kind of just also want to sit down and review numbers, especially if numbers are part of your goals, which again should be. So uh, review numbers, review budgets, review income, review it all. And from here, you're going to revise if needed, you know, tweak the other quarter goals if you have to, and um, just keep at it, right? Keep encouraging each other and then keep going and working towards those goals together. So this is it for us in terms of how we set quarterly goals and kind of what we do and what our process looks like. It definitely uh, works for us and we really enjoy it. I really enjoy it as especially the quarterly reviews and kind of going over what went well and what didn't go well. So I highly encourage you to maybe try it out and see how it works for you and your partner. So until the next video, bye.